All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we, like it says in the description, we are gonna be building a backstop. Now this backstop's not gonna be made of dirt. It's not gonna be made of any natural material. I actually have railroad ties from my parents' house that I've been dragging here slowly with good old red truck. And we're gonna build them out of that. So should be pretty cool. For those who are worried that they won't hold up, I just want you to take a look around. I have no neighbors, so it's really not anything I'm worried about. We've just been shooting at trees over there because it goes for a mile in each direction with nobody, except for my one neighbor down there who like is at the front of the driveway and I don't even shoot that way. So we are good there. This is just more as a target to shoot at. But that all depends if this thing wants to work today. I kind of crashed it when the ramps kicked out yesterday trying to load it into the truck coming home from my friend's house. So we're gonna find out right now if she is gonna turn on because if it starts dumping gas, I got a whole new project to work on. All right, she's not pissing out gas just yet. That's a good sign, because yesterday it was just dumping gas out everywhere. I'm pretty sure the floats got stuck down and it was just flooding the entire engine. That's why it took us almost an hour to get it started again. But it's looking pretty good right now, I'm thinking. So let's hop up there and see if we can't get it started. All right guys, she fired right up, which is awesome. That's always a good sign, revved right up. That's cool, cool. Let's just see if she's dumping gas yet. We might be good to go. We might have gotten lucky. She's not dumping gas, guys. We are good to go. We are building this thing today. But you already knew that because the video's posted, so there wouldn't be a video if I didn't have the quad. So let's get this thing unloaded. We'll get the trailer hooked up, and we're gonna start moving some ties. I got some metal I'm gonna bring down to kind of brace it up. We gotta get out the drill, some screws, and some of this old plywood I have sitting over there. Just kind of hold it together while I'm building it. So, I'll see you down there. All right, guys, so we got the trailer, we got the shovel. We're getting ready to load some of these up. And you might be asking, hey, RT, where do you get all these railroad ties from? Well, back at my parents' house, their property backed up to an old army depot. And, uh, the rail line actually ran right through the back of their property. So, there was all these railroad tracks left over after the depot was abandoned. I believe it was abandoned in the 50s or the 60s because there was really no need for it anymore because all it really was used for was uh, mass scale storage. I mean, it was a pretty cool place back in the day. If you went back there like 10, 15 years ago, you still they had all the buildings still up and stuff like that. And he had like airplane hangers and runways and massive storage warehouses and pump buildings. And uh, right now they're actually turning the old Army Depot into what is known as Mountain View Park for kids to go play baseball and stuff like that. So, but that's gonna be a huge project because back in the day, no one really cared. Everything got just dumped. So like stuff like this just got dumped and buried and winds up turning the water, the groundwater really pretty much useless and contaminating the soil and stuff like that. So there is a massive cleanup project funded by the federal government right now to get their mess cleaned up. But I got all these railroad ties out of it. And funny story, before this actually is becoming a backstop, it was something previously. Me and my friends, actually, it was Thanksgiving week back maybe five, six years ago. We decided to build our own warehouse strictly out of railroad ties. We were uh, pretty much in the phase of buying extreme like beater quads and dirt bikes, but they weren't really nice. They were like Chinese and we didn't pay a lot of money for them. So we didn't really want to take up valuable warehouse space in our own sheds and garages like that. So we decided to build our warehouse in the woods where it was kind of safe. We put a bike lock on the door and stuff like that. 
But uh, here's a picture of it right here after we finished building it. It was pretty cool. So, so yeah, we had this massive warehouse and it was made up of two by fours, a couple sheets of plywood, a tarp, and railroad ties was pretty much the main ingredient. So that's where I have all these railroad ties from. But there's an even funny story that goes with that, but we'll get into this once I get this trailer loaded up. Okay guys, so back to the story. Um, so basically we had this big, um, this big warehouse made out of the, uh, made out of railroad ties that was two stories and it was filled with like a bunch of Chinese quads, blown up quads and stuff like that. Parts, parts that we just couldn't really keep at our house cause they were kind of junky, but we might need them one day. So we didn't really want to throw them out just yet. And It worked as a good storage facility for us. So it was kind of nice. Uh, but basically what happened was they were doing a massive cleanup back there and like the construction workers actually for the longest time thought it was really cool and stuff like that. So we were golden. No one really bothered us. It wasn't, the problem was it wasn't really on my parents' property. It was just off the back of my parents' property because that's where it was kind of cleared. So that's where we built it. My parents' property is very swampy and heavily dense with trees and stuff. So you had to go through my parents' property to get to it, but the building itself wasn't actually on my parents' property. So what basically wound up happening was the foreman or one of the foreman's boss came to inspect their work and saw it and was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, Like this, we didn't finish the cleanup because there's there's a hundred railroad ties sitting right there in this stack of a building. And then he went, looked inside and saw it was filled with garbage or like what he called garbage. We would never call it garbage. Just used motorcycle parts. So basically they contacted the police. The police showed up at my dad's house and it was like, yo, your son's littering back there and stuff like that. We see his quad in the trail. My dad's like, I don't know what you're talking about. There ain't nothing back there. And they showed him pictures and he's like, no, no, no. My son didn't do that. Like, it can't be him. So he was being good. He wasn't, he wasn't, a, he was good. He didn't narc me out. But basically I got home from work that day and he was like, oh, we got to clean it up. So we knocked it down and we pretty much scrapped everything that we could just scrap, like all the metal and stuff like that. We old like rims and stuff. We just pretty much just wound up scrapping it. And uh, we had to get rid of all the wood. So me and my friends came up with this genius idea that we, we would just burn it. And so we had this raging fire and like, here's a fire that we usually had back there. This was probably twice as big just like kind of overflowing the fire pit. I mean, it, we were being responsible. It was on stone. It wasn't gonna burn down the forest. But um, my one buddy, he had to actually leave because he was going to sell his 450. And uh, my other buddy, while I was there cutting, uh, cutting up more of the RS and throwing it in the fire, he took one of these big all-terrain tires that was for like a, probably like a big grizzly, like big tire. And he slapped it around at the top of the fire. That thing started billowing black smoke through the trees. And the problem was, is like right next to my parents' house is, one, is the main road that people used to go east to west in town. So of course, 
Of course, someone sees the fire. They see the smoke billowing out of the trees. They think the forest is on fire. So what do they do? They call the police. Well, the fire department shows up and I, I kind of had a bad feeling when my dad called me and I was like, yo! And I was like, oh God, because I saw the black smoke. We put it out and then I get a phone call from my dad. I knew that someone showed up. And he's like, yo, the fire department's in the street. Like, uh, he's like, you better run. <laughs> but no, I went up there and I like talked them out of trying to drive through my parents and my neighbor's lawn with their fire truck because they wouldn't make it. Like back behind my parents' house is a straight swamp. There's three streams you have to cross to even get back there. Like we were wheeling. So it was like, you needed a four wheel drive quad, something light that didn't, wouldn't get sucked in. Cause it was like clay and ick mud. So like if you went too deep, you were done, you were stuck. But so yeah, the fire department showed up, both, all three engines from my town. Then the cop showed up and I basically just played it off that like the police told me to get rid of it and they didn't tell me I couldn't burn it. So the cop was like, uh, like I gave him the officer's name that was like kind of like threatening me. And I, he, I told him, I was like, he didn't tell me I couldn't burn it. He just said, get rid of it. He didn't say I couldn't burn it. So he basically kind of looked around. He's like, uh, he looked at the one fire guy. He's like, was there any real damage? And the guy's like, no, it was out by the time we got back here. And he's like, all right, all right. He's like, just, just stop burning things, all right? We don't, we don't need that. And I was like, you got it, boss. He's like, just leave everything else. Nature will take it as in time. And I was like, all right, makes my life easier. Sounds good. So then we left it. And now three years later, I'm ripping out the building and we're gonna build a backstop out of it. And that's the story of how I got so many railroad ties and how I got in trouble for having so many railroad ties. But, all right, we're gonna get to work. We're gonna assemble this. I'm gonna put you guys on time-lapse because you're not gonna wanna sit here watching me pick up and struggle to grunt through all these railroad ties. So we're gonna get you guys set up on time-lapse and we're gonna check in when it's finished. So, all right, let's do it. All right, guys, we just finished the backstop, as you can see. It's a little over six foot tall. I put up a little target and we got it. It's about four wide, so it should be good. I got this ratchet strap holding it up right now just because I ran out of bracing material. I'm gonna go buy some rebar and stuff and beat that through it, get it really nice and sturdy. But I wound up torpedoing my pull start through the quad side of the case, so. Luckily it happened right here. So we're gonna call it quits at this point. I still have three more that I might stack up, make it a little bit taller, but it's looking pretty good. So we got my beautiful fiance out here today, ready to shoot her new gun. What do you got, babe? Uh, the I know. All right, let's see it. Nice shot. Watch out, boys. She's a killer. She's a killer. Keep shooting. Do the whole clip. They want to see you shoot. Fucking bullseyes over here. Guys, let's take a look. Holy mackerel, look at that cluster. Do not 
come into our house. She is a killer with the nine mil. Now let's just kind of see, coming around here, I put a piece of paper up to see it's going through. Nothing. Ain't nothing getting through this, especially nine millimeters. This is too thick. This worked out really well, really nice. I'm actually really pleased. Let me see, I'm gonna pull this back. Look at that, didn't even make it through the first one. They're just buried in there. Oh man, this was a great idea. All right guys, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos of me building crazy things. Guns, bikes, anything fixing it. Maybe I'll do another video on fixing the quad. I blew up making this video. So please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and see you later.